Okay, so Trump continues to do Trump things. In this case, denying he um, endorses something when it's just because he thinks that if he denies it, despite not actually denying it, that people will be like, oh, okay, and move on. So, what am I talking about? Project 2025. Donald Trump distanced himself Friday from Project 2025, a massive proposed overhaul of the federal government drafted by longtime allies and former officials in his administration, days after the head of the think tank responsible for the program suggested there would be a second American Revolution. And since Donald Trump is all about optics, of course he's now denying, distancing himself from Project 2025. Or at least he claims he is. I question whether he is because it sounds like something he would do. I know nothing about Project 2025, Trump posted on his social media website. I have no idea who is behind it. I disagree with some of the things they're saying, and some of the things they're saying are absolutely ridiculous and abysmal. Anything they do, I wish them luck, but I have nothing to do with them. Okay, now, this is Trump's classic doublespeak. First, he says, I know nothing about Project 2025. And then he claims that he actually has read what Project 2025 is. So either you never heard of it, or you have. You can't have it both ways. And, of course, this is just about him trying to assuage the gullible fears that he might implement Project 2025. At least those gullible ones who actually don't want it to be implemented. The 922-page plan outlines a dramatic expansion of presidential power and a plan to fire as many as 50,000 government workers to replace them with Trump loyalists. Now, how can you freaking expand presidential power beyond the fact that the Supreme Court just gave gave presidents absolute immunity for official acts, which, in the words of Richard Nixon, if the president doesn't, it isn't illegal. So, there is that. President Joe Biden's re-election campaign has worked to draw more attention to the agenda, particularly as Biden tries to keep his fellow Democrats on board after his disastrous debate. Now, he claims that he's trying to bring up Project 2025. From what I've heard, he never mentioned Project 2025 once at the debate. Now, we found out later that he was horribly jet-lagged and almost falling asleep on stage, which makes you wonder why you did back-to-back -back European trips right before the debate. I mean, that's, that's brutal for anybody. Screw it that you're 80-plus years old. But surely that must have at least been discussed. It should have accidentally come out, even if you were rambling on like you had no idea what was happening. You still could have gotten those two words in. Trump has outlined his own plans to remake the government if he wins a second term, including staging the largest deportation operation in U.S. history, which I'm pretty sure is part of Project 2025. Not positive. I honestly did try to read it, and I just couldn't. And imposing tariffs on potentially all imports. Think about how much the prices are going to go up. Now, granted, this is supposed to be in place of the income tax, but billionaires, I mean, going to the store and buying overpriced stuff isn't going to affect them. 
Joe and Jill average, yeah, that's going to affect them because the the tariffs, are, the rising in prices because of tariffs are going to affect them because they don't have enough money. They don't have as much money to give to the companies as, say, billionaires. So obviously this is going to disproportionately affect the middle class, the poor, the upper class will be just fine, which we already know that Trump only cares about the rich. Well, he only cares about himself, but outside of himself, the rich. And since he's rich, obviously this uh, this helps him. Um, let's see, where was I? His campaign has previously warned outside allies not to presume to speak for the former president and suggested their transition and waiting efforts were unhelpful. Um, you know, it could be entirely true that the Heritage Foundation brought this up, even though people close to Trump helped with that. It's entirely possible that they did this without um, Trump's blessing, but that doesn't mean Trump doesn't agree with it. Actually, I'm sure, you know, it's possible not all of the ideas he likes, but I'm pretty sure most of it he does. Or at least he wouldn't fight against it because all he cares about is power. Well, before then it was power. Now it's just staying out of jail. Heritage Foundation President Kevin Roberts said on Steve Bannon's War Room podcast Tuesday, Tuesday ugh, that Republicans are in the process of taking this country back. Former U.S. Representative Dave Bratt of Virginia hosted the show for Bannon, who is serving a four-month prison term. And for those who aren't aware, he's serving four months for um, defying a subpoena. The specific subpoena is the um, July is the July six um, congressional committee subpoena. So, how Jim Jordan could defy a subpoena, but nobody else seems to be able to. Oh, and Trump. Don't know. We are in the process of the second American Revolution which will remain bloodless if the left allows it to be, Robert said. What does that even mean? Because I highly doubt he thinks that the left would fire the first shot. He obviously means that if the left just, you know, just falls over and lets the right do whatever they want, then it'll be bloodless. Because I can't imagine he thinks the left would fire the first shot. Or maybe he does think that. I mean, you know, stranger things have happened of people believing their own bullshit only to discover that the bullshit was made manifest. See Biden's debate performance. All right. Those comments were widely circulated online and blasted by the Biden campaign, which issued a statement saying Trump and his allies were dreaming of a violent revolution to destroy the very idea of America. Which, considering the right has been whining about a civil war ever since Trump lost the election, you know, may, maybe that's why he this douche um, brings up the Ameri second American revolution because people are have been crying about the Civil War for so long. He thinks that let's spice it up by using a different war. And I, I don't know if it's just simply because we just had our Independence Day yesterday or if there's another reason he's bringing up because an outside power is not the is not on the left trying to get them reelected that would be the right so yeah 
Some of the people involved in Project 2025 are former senior administration officials. The project's director is Paul Dans, who served as chief of staff at the U.S. Office of Personnel Management under Trump. Trump's campaign spokeswoman, Caroline Levitt, was featured in one of Project 2025's videos. All the more reason to call bullshit on Trump saying, I know nothing of Project 2025, I had nothing to do with it. John McEntee, a former director of the White House Presidential Personnel Office in the Trump administration, is a senior advisor. McEntee told the conservative news site The Daily Wire earlier this year that Project 2025's team would integrate a lot of its work with the campaign after the summer when Trump would announce his transition team. Trump's comments on Project 2025 come ahead of the Republican Party's meeting next week to begin to draft its party platform. Project 2025 has been preparing its own 180-day agenda for the next administration that it plans to share privately rather than as part of its public-facing book of priorities for Republican president. A key Trump ally, Russ Vought, I think it's Vought, who contributed to Project 2025 and is drafting this final pillar, is also on the Republican National Committee's platform writing committee. And considering Trump just put in Lara Trump as the president, I'm going to say that this would be happening if Trump didn't want it to. A spokesperson for the plan said Project 2025 is not tied to a specific candidate or campaign. Uh-huh. Bullshit. We are a coalition of more than 110 conservative groups advocating policy and personnel recommendations for the next conservative president, a statement said. Which, did anybody really, really, um, is anybody really, really shocked that it is Trump? I mean, maybe those who aren't paying attention, but... But it is ultimately up to that president who we believe will be President Trump to decide which recommendations to implement. The Democratic National Committee said the plan and the Trump campaign are part of the same mega operation. A Biden campaign spokesperson said that Project 2025 staff members are also leading the Republican policy platform. Exactly. I mean... I just mentioned one of them who's on the Republican Writing Committee. So, yeah, of course this is sanctioned. Project 2025 is the extreme policy and personnel playbook for Trump's second term that should scare the hell out of the American people, said Amar Musa. On Thursday, as the country celebrated Independence Day and Biden prepared for his television interview after his halting debate performance, the president's campaign posted on X a shot from the dystopian TV drama The Handmaid's Tale, showing a group of women in the show's red dresses and white hats standing in formation by a reflecting pool with a cross at the far end where the Washington Monument should be. The story revolves around women who are stripped of their identities and forced to give birth to children for other couples in a totalitarian regime. And it's not just any couple. It's the um, heads of that regime. So, yeah. Fourth of July under Trump's Project 2025, the Post said, so that is how the article ends. So, yeah. Um, do I believe that Trump is distancing himself? No. I was hoping this article would give a bit more about what Project 2025 entails. But, yeah. Um, the fact that Trump is claiming to distance himself from Project 2025 should tell you just how horrible this thing is. 
even if you do not believe that Trump is going to implement it, it should it should give you pause as to how horrible it is that Trump is trying to distance himself from it publicly, even though he really isn't. So, um, with that, um, I believe that's all I have for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.